Yes, I'm a king, go what? Think. I'm a king, go king. Together, the BRICS countries make up a quarter of the global economy. They account for a fifth of global trade and are home to more than 40% of the world's population. As we celebrate the 15th anniversary of BRICS, trade between BRICS countries totaled some $162 billion last year. Total annual foreign direct investment into BRICS countries is four times greater than it was 20 years ago. We require a fundamental reform of the global financial institutions so that they can be more agile and responsive to the challenges facing developing economies. In this respect, the new development bank established by BRICS countries in 2015 is leading the way. Since its formation, it has demonstrated its ability to mobilize resources for infrastructure and sustainable development in emerging economies without conditionalities. From a South African perspective, there is massive untapped potential for investment in our country and indeed on the African continent as well. In recognition of this potential, the theme for this 15th BRICS Summit is BRICS in Africa, a partnership for mutually accelerated growth, sustainable development, and inclusive multilateralism. Africa is a continent of great opportunity in industrialization process in a variety of sectors. This continent is rich in the critical minerals that will drive business success in the 21st century. The continent has resources of lithium, vanadium, cobalt, platinum, palladium, nickel, copper, rare earth minerals, rhodium, and many others. These are the minerals that are bound and are driving economic activity across the world. African countries have made it clear that the investors of choice are those who will come and invest in our continent, but also process the resources here close to source so that African countries do not export rock and sand, but export finished products as we would like to do. The African continental free trade area creates a single market that is expected to grow to 1.7 billion people and nearly $7 trillion in consumer and business spending by 2030. The success of the African continental free trade area will require a massive investment in infrastructure. We need to mobilize the substantial financing that is needed to build the roads, the ports, the rail, the energy and telecommunications network that will enable industrialization and trade. Growth in African economies will be driven in the main by small and medium enterprises. This requires focused as well as effective support to these businesses. It is important that specific financing be directed also to women-owned businesses so that they can harness the benefits of the continental free trade area. And we in Africa, as we seek to grow and develop, we are focusing on the empowerment of the women of our continent who have been held back 
through the years of colonialism, and in our case, through the years of apartheid, through protocols and laws, and we are saying we need to free the women of our continent so that they can trade, so that they can be in business and grow the economies of our various countries. Africa has a young, digitally connected and urbanizing population, a population which provides a stable workforce for companies in the future. These factors all position Africa as the next frontier of productivity and growth. The BRICS countries have an opportunity to contribute to and participate in Africa's growth story. This can be achieved through greater cooperation in areas such as infrastructure, agriculture, manufacturing, new energy, and the digital economy. South Africa has an important position in growing the African market, facilitated by the Africa Continental Free Trade Area and other free trade agreements. South Africa's industrial strength, our mineral endowments, and our large market opportunities provides a compelling value proposition for companies wanting to establish their businesses here. South Africa has significant industrial capacity with Africa's most advanced industrial innovation and fabrication base. We have a diverse and sophisticated economy, and this country possesses world-class infrastructure, <clears throat> skills, abundant natural resources, industrial clusters, and a host of incentives to support investment. I sincerely hope that your participation in this BRICS Business Forum will yield the productive outcomes that are required for us to catapult BRICS economies towards a more equitable and accelerated growth. In two hours or so, the BRICS leaders will sit together in a retreat to discuss a number of BRICS-related matters. And one of those is the expansion of BRICS. A number of countries, some of which are represented here, have, are seeking to be part of this BRICS family. And we appreciate that. It goes to show that the BRICS family is growing in its importance, in its stature, and also in its influence in the world. And we will be taking into account the various desires of various countries to be part of BRICS. So we hope to take into account the report of your discussions here as well as we consider the way forward with BRICS. Thank you very much for participating. We thank you. Yes, I'm a king, go I think I'm a king, go king.